This is bad for cops here in New York City. Now guys, there was a shooting last week where two police officers in Queens were shot by an illegal immigrant from Venezuela. The illegal immigrant, upon being interviewed, stated that this is the norm in Venezuela, shooting at cops and probably killing them as well. The reason this is bad is because more of these guys from Venezuela, from a gang specifically, I think the, the gang's name is Tren de Aragua, something like that. And they are here in New York City. They're here in the United States, but they're concentrating here in New York City. And there's a big problem growing here in New York City with this gang. All right. This gang, guys, is in charge of the, a, a lot of, sorry, in charge of a lot of the rapes that are going on throughout the nation. The girl that was Jocelyn, if I'm not mistaken, the girl in Texas, I think those two guys were part of that group. The 13-year-old girl who was raped two weeks ago or sexually violated two weeks ago, I don't think that guy was, but he had a very gang-affiliated tattoo on his chest. Anyway, but we're seeing more of this crime wave with this gang here in New York. And I don't care how stupid you are, when you go to another country, you know the laws are different, bottom line. But to sit there and upon interrogation, you tell the officer, well, we do this all the time in Venezuela is a bad thing because more of these guys will come here and start shooting at cops like it's free. The danger part about it, guys, is that it's the way we treat the criminals after that that makes a big difference on how these guys respond, when criminals respond to American laws. Now, there was a big to-do fight downtown a few months ago with a bunch of illegal immigrants and cops, and the judge let those guys go. There was a case, it was either a beating or some kind of sexual assault, and it was, a, again, a Venezuelan migrant or illegal immigrant, and he was set loose. These people are coming here knowing that we're soft on crime. So their attitude is going to be like, fuck it, we can do whatever we want. And they're doing that. The gang that's here right now is only going to get stronger. In fact, they're teaming up with MS-13. Now, MS-13, for the most part, stayed out on Long Island. I know that they're seeping their way into Queens and Brooklyn. Because now there's more of them coming across the border because of Biden, right? Biden is letting everybody across the border and the bad element comes. Now, should we allow people to come to this country and live their dream all free and, and grow? No, fuck them. Let them stay there. This ideology, guys, that the Democrats have and weirdo people talk about how we should let people in this country so they can thrive. Fuck them. Let them thrive in their country. Let these people from whatever country they're from thrive over there. Why does everybody got to come to the lifeboat of the world and thrive? And then they want to they want to tug at our heartstrings and be like, oh, look at little Miguel. Miguel's here. He has bad teeth. We're, come, we're bringing him to this country to fix his teeth so he can have a better life. Oh, by the way, he wants to be an astronaut. We should let him stay here. Fuck Miguel and his crooked fucking teeth. Let him stay in his country with his shitty parents and let them fight for their revolution over there. We are... We should be done with taking on people and using the excuse the excuse that everybody needs a better life fuck them in a better life because with their better life comes the bad element now yes is there a better way to allow certain people from those countries in yes but i still disagree with letting everybody in because they need a better life if they fought for their country if they fought against the bullshit in their country they wouldn't have to come here and then start having their lifestyle infect ours because now we got holidays, we got Muslim holidays here in New York because of a bunch of Muslims that are here now. You wanted your Muslim holiday, you should have stayed in your fucking country. You wanted your little Chinese holiday and your little Japanese holiday, you should have stayed in your fucking country. We should not be shutting down schools and businesses for your shitty fucking holidays that you practice over there. Sorry about that, about that rant, but I'm done with the illegal immigrant crisis and the bullshit and the, oh, little Maria, she needs to fuck her and her bullshit. Maria grows up, put a fucking AK in her hand, and tell her to defend her country. 
Don't come here with your bullshit. Don't come here with your 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 head guard and tell me that that's women empowerment. When that in fact is the opposite of women empowerment. We have a big problem headed this way. We have gangs coming across guys that think it's okay to shoot at cops. We have gangs coming across thinking it's okay to record themselves sexually violating women and kids. We have a big problem. And we, the citizens of New York, should be handling it. We should be absolutely going to work with them with blowtorch and a fucking plier. You know what movie that's from. This is the kind of shit we need to start doing now, but we're not. We're sitting here complaining and not doing anything. Now, granted, obviously, if any one of us, I would hope so, caught anyone in the act violating a woman, we should be going to war with them before we hand them over to the cops. We should not be handing over to the cops all pristine, clean. No, both eyes should be fucking closed up. His lips should be fattened like Fat Alberts. I mean, like, yo, everything. He should have fucking something carved in his chest, like, do not enter America. Like, something uh, atrocious has to happen to people that are coming across and doing the bad things. Other than going to jail. Because that's not working. Because they're coming across going, eh, you commit a crime, you go to jail. We got our, we got our, our organization in that jail. You'll be okay. So, of course, they're going to commit the crime and no one's going to do anything about it. Guys, they could rape and sexually violate multiple girls, multiple girls, and nothing will be done because once they go to jail, they got backup over there. They got people that are like going to stand up for them. No one's going to touch them. This is a thing that is growing and getting out of hand. And for the NYPD, you guys are going to start getting shot at because they think it's the norm. Cops around America are going to start getting shot at because they think it's the norm. And listen, they know it's not the norm. They can't be that dumb. But they use that as an excuse. That is a deadly excuse. You guys are going to have to start doing bad things to these people in the worst way. I mean, I mean, like chokehold, nightsticks, you get my fucking point. You know where I'm going. Oh, shit. He was reaching for something. Whatever it is. Because this is only going to get worse. And this is going to get worse for you and your family. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching The Angry Prepper channel.